guys, so we are heading downtown. We're on our way to walk to the L, and we want to go look at all the festive Christmas stuff in downtown Chicago, so I thought I'd bring you along with me. And usually I try to avoid a downtown area like the plague during the holiday season because it's just swamped with holiday shoppers and tourists and people like us who just want to look at all the Christmas decorations. Whoa, there's a car that just likes whatever. Um, but I like to go at least once a year and just walk around and take the whole day and take my time and look at everything and we're going to go ice skating afterwards too. I thought it would be fun to show you guys what um, Chicago looks like during the holiday season because it really is pretty. So that's it. I hope that you guys enjoy. We're gonna head over to Water Tower next. And it's the building, the only building that survived the Great Fire. And I wanna say it was 1860 something, but I can't be sure. So that's our first stop. Always horse and carriages in this neighborhood. Here's Water Tower. Here's like the actual water building. And then right behind it is Water Tower Place, which is where we're gonna go shopping after. Here's like a little sculpture here. And the pumping stations are across the street, Ash said, so it's really cool. It's a really pretty area. And then here's like the lights, so it's like a little walkway with lights above. I think it's really festive. I like it a lot. And then here's the pumping station. Oh yeah, no, that's Chicago Public. That's, yeah, Chicago Water Works is over here, so I lied. So this is the actual pumping station here and then over here is like the actual water building and these are the only two buildings that survived the great fire i'm gonna see if i can find the dates for okay it. we're really curious what the date is because i could swear to god it's like 1860 something 18, 1871 1871 was the actual fire i was close you i was close, close. You were close. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so we're gonna walk over to water tower so here's inside water tower when you first enter this wreath is so pretty and there's like this little um, water fountain right here by the escalators and they spit up little pieces of water. It's really cool. That's there all year round though. But then there's like little trees over here. It's really pretty. We're still in Water Tower and here's this big long picture of the Grinch that's like, I guess like an elevator decoration because this is the elevator right here. That's kind of cool. I like that. Here's my favorite church. I've never done a wedding here. I really want to though. It's so pretty. We had our engagement photos taken over here. Well, some of them. Oh, look how pretty it is for Christmas. All the reeds everywhere. And there's like a little courtyard inside. You can go in the courtyard. It's people that have weddings here, they take pictures inside the courtyard area. It's really pretty. Decorations are really nice. And then there's the actual church. And right across the street is Mr. Hancock. So there's the Hancock building. He's not really decorated for Christmas though. So that's kind of boring. But yeah, I love this church. It's my favorite. Here's, here's kind of like all the expensive stores. Like Louis Vuitton is over there. There's Bulgari. And then right down there is Chanel. You can barely see it though. And we're gonna go in here to get lunch. And it's not going to be fancy. It's going to be pot belly, which is my favorite kind of lunch when I go downtown. Here's another pretty tree. We're at, um, Oh gosh, I can't remember. I think it's like 720 North Michigan or something. It's just another shopping mall. Right above Bloomingdale's is this pretty tree. Very lovely. Here it is closer up. We're adding the escalator up. It's really pretty. I think this actually might be prettier than the one downtown at Daily Plaza. Oh yeah, the one downtown is on Yeah, this one is really pretty decorated. It's lunchtime. This is like my favorite thing to get downtown because it's cheap, it's filling, it's fast. So I get a pot belly veggie, which is basically just mushrooms and like a crap load of cheese and lettuce and tomato. I get baked lays because they're the healthiest chips that you, uh, you can find. Not that it really matters because I also got a cookie because they have the best oatmeal chocolate chip cookies and we don't get here very often and I'm gonna have Josh eat half of it. <laughs> and then I got a Coke zero. So it's not like super healthy by any means, but 
It's very tasty and I like it. So here's Michigan Avenue. All the trees along the street are lit up. Pretty. And all of like the really fancy stores are along here. Like there's even markets and we're heading over to Sac, which is somewhere over there. And Cartier is over there somewhere as well. But yeah, it's actually really pretty. I mean, it's not like super decorated, but with all the lights at night lit up like this, it is actually really pretty. I don't think it's crowded enough. Masses of people everywhere. Look at all those people over there. So we actually had to stop like on the sidewalk because there's so many people. Here we go. We're moving again. And here's Tiffany and Company. They have pretty trees outside of their building. And there's a little window display. Pretty trees. There's Tiffany's. Always really pretty in here too and very crowded I do know that Nordstrom does the most um, sales by volume than any other department stores and actually all the other department stores combined in Chicago so it is always packed it's really pretty though decoration there's another display at Nordstrom it's cute little birdie houses and there's Little boots with little birdies. I'm a sucker for birdies, so. Little nests with baby shoes in them. And another birdie. Super cute. Here's Trump Tower. It's the third tallest building in Chicago, right? Uh, yes. Oh, a lamp. There's more footage of Trump, the entrance. Looks really pretty decorated. Here's the Chicago Theater. I don't know if you can see what it says, a Christmas story, the musical is playing right now. And there goes the L. And here is ABC News. So the studio is like all windows. So you can always see right inside that they're doing a broadcast. They're not right now, but it's kind of cool to watch it. And here is the old Marshall Fields building, which is now Macy. So like all the trumpets over here, those are the original Marshall Field decorations. And they have the clocks on each corner, which are really pretty. But we're gonna take you inside later. Okay, we're encroaching upon danger zone. This is Magnolia Bakery, which is um, originated in New York. And that's what it looks like inside. It's super cute. So you kind of go through these little doors. And they have really cute little displays. So cute. And then if you just keep walking, we're on State Street right now, right across the street from Marshall Field. There is Sephora. So you have cupcakes and makeup. It's a big danger zone that I usually have to stay away from. So we are walking to the Chris Kindle Market. And I would love to say that I'll be able to get inside and get lots of footage for you, but it's usually packed and it's the Saturday before Christmas. Well, since Christmas is technically on a Sunday, I guess it's not like the last Saturday before Christmas, but probably the biggest shopping day in Chicago so far that we've seen, so I'll try my best to get footage, but I'm probably gonna just have to show you like the outskirts of it, but we'll see how it goes. So there's the Chris Kindle Market and the Christmas tree. It's actually not a very exciting tree. It is really pretty though. There's lots of little stores and stuff and German type pastries and foods and schnitzel. All right, here we go. So far, so good. We're able to actually walk at least. Last year we couldn't even like walk in. It was so crowded. This isn't the food area. Oh, this is not the food area, I was just informed. So it's just ornaments. It's just ornaments. Well, at least we're able to walk. She's in front of me. Ooh, there's, there's like sugar and chocolate over there. That's my kind of, my kind of house. Cookies and nuts and stuff, it's kind of hard to see. And we're at a standstill. We can't walk. <laughs> Most of the time you end up just like standing here and waiting to move. There's the tree at least. Oh. I just got run into like eight times. 
So here you can get like chocolate covered marshmallows on a stick. At the baked apples and covered treats. It's really fun and festive. So I'm not going to get any because I already had a cookie, but it's good to know. And then here's just more like glass and containers and vases and collectibles. Here's the tree. See how sparse it is? It is really sparse. Josh and I were just saying how sparse it was. It's kind of small too, but it is pretty. It's nice that we do at least have a tree. Like Chicago could just not put one up at all. So at least we do have one. So this is the food area over here. And Basically, once you get in, you can't really walk around anywhere. Like, it's just so packed. What's on the top of the grill? So, we're not going to go in because that's a little ridiculous. There's a the little boot that you get. Here's Santa's house, right next to the tree. So, that's pretty much it. It's really nice and fun, and I wish that I could, like, actually spend more time in there, but it's just, like, it's so crowded and packed that it, it, you just wait in line and then you just end up sitting there and you're packed in there like sardines, you can't really walk around. It's just too claustrophobic for me. So I don't really like to go in there for too long and actually get any food, which is too bad because I really wanted a stick of chocolate covered marshmallows that looks so fun, but that's okay. So I think we're going to walk over to State Street now and take you into Macy's slash Marshall Fields and show you all the pretty decorations. Hey, we're walking over to Marshall. Oh, okay, we're walking over to Marshall Fields. All the people everywhere. So crowded! Here are the pretty decorations. Okay, so here's Marshall Fields. It just has really pretty architecture left over from the original building. Lots of pretty weeds everywhere. We're in my favorite section, which is the makeup section. <laughs> Want to tell everyone what we got? Uh, sure. So we got a new nonstick seven-inch pan from Martha Stewart for Sammy. Yeah. She's really into making eggs for breakfast now. Yeah, and I need a small pan. And then we got a tea kettle from Martha Stewart. Martha Stewart. Because Sam really likes tea. She's never really been happy with our current tea kettle. Yeah, it's just we really liked it when we registered for it, but then it got to be really small. It's just too small now. So we got that. They were both probably. Off. Yeah, well the tea kettle was originally, what, $50? 60 And then we got it for $18.99? 16 because we got an extra percent off. So it was a really good deal. So it's like this blue color, that's what it looks like. Yay, new tea kettle! Millennium Park and this is where the main ice skating rink is. I'm gonna go see it. Looks like they might be like doing the Zamboni or something because no one is skating right now. Um, but I'll just show you what it looks like. We're actually gonna go to a different skating rink because this one is crazy expensive. And look at the flipping line. This is just the line to get in and rent skates and then you have to wait even more to actually get into the rink. And this is like just the middle of the line. So it starts all the way back there and this is the line right here just to get in. It's just ridiculous. And that's the bean over there. And then of course you have the skyline surrounding you. It's just really nice, but this one is just too expensive. 
and it's just ridiculous of the wait. So we're gonna go to another one. I got my skates on. I'm ready to go. Josh is still doing his. He got the wrong size, so we had to exchange his. Okay, we're on our way. I'm having some issues walking in my my skates down here. Are you ready to go? I'm ready. Josh is like an expert because he used to play ice hockey and I used to fall on my butt a lot. Like that little kid that just fell. I feel so bad for him. That's gonna be me in like three seconds. All right, skating. I skated all by myself. Well, we held hands. Yes, we did. <laughs> and here's like the park. So you still have the skyline. It's still like a really pretty ring. It's okay, so Josh, are you gonna go by yourself for a few minutes? You want me to go by myself? Yeah. Okay. All right, bye. I want Josh to go by himself because he actually can skate. There he goes. Here he comes, right here. Oh, there he is. Ooh, fancy. 